from our network this morning from Tuscaloosa into downtown Birmingham. Vulcan overlooking the Magic City skyline right now where temperatures are in the 40s. Not quite as cold, you know, brisk wind, certainly whenever the wind picks up coming out of the uh, northern sections of the state. We have our WBTM 13 live Doppler radar that's showing spotty showers Tuscaloosa County into Birmingham and Springville. Asheville to Pell City, you're going to catch some sprinkles down the I-65 corridor, but it turns into a little bit heavier rainfall south of Chilton County, moving into the I-85 corridor in Auburn and Palaika. And so we will continue to see a lot of this moisture coming up from the south throughout the day, and it will bring us rain chances through at least mid to late afternoon today. This is the, the loop here. You can see that most of this action continues to fill in, but there's no winter precipitation. The cold freezing temperatures have retrograded just a bit towards sections north of Nashville. Temperature in Nashville's about 37 degrees, but there has been a little bit more action because of the topography. So let's talk about the bitterly cold wind that we're going to be looking at 6 a.m. on Saturday morning. Frostbite, that can occur in less than an hour when you have danger exposure to your skin. So, you know, this is one of those times where if you have to go out running errands, you know, it's not like you cannot beat the cold. You just have to layer up, cover up your hands, cover up your face and do what you can to keep and maintain that internal core body temperature. We move into 9 a.m. Saturday, it still feels like zero in Coleman. Even by noon, it feels like 16. So afternoon, Christmas Eve, last minute shopping, you're gonna run into some dangerous wind chills. Now, Jason and I and the weather team, we were looking at the probability of having a white Christmas. If you do wanna pass that down to your friends, it's less than 1%. So you're saying there's a chance is what they say, right? Not really. Friday, Saturday and Sunday morning, we want everyone to prepare for the dangerous wind chills. There will be so much wind that even when the forecast models continue to put a little bit more of the white stuff on our future cast, we know the wind will be so heavy at times in the surface levels that most of that will either evaporate or get blown around in the mid levels. So we're mainly talking about those teens. Back to you.